tropical breaking news alert. That fire we were talking about at the top of the newscast, it broke out shortly after 8 on Martin Street in St. Bernard. And for a brief time, a firefighter was trapped. Local 12's Angela Ingram is live on the scene with what happened. Angela. Kami, firefighters have been out here for hours and they've been battling smoke, flames and bitter cold. And as you mentioned, at one point, a May Day was called when a firefighter inside got disoriented. Now, a few hours ago, this all broke out on Martin and the fire chief here is telling us that an electric space here in the basement caused the fire. Flames got into the walls and traveled all the way into the attic. The family was home at the time, and fortunately, they did manage to make it out safely. Friends and relatives are helping them. A May Day was called when one firefighter got disoriented, leading to some tense moments. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it was. Um, you could hear a little panic in his voice, but again, you know, that's what we train to do, and we have a, a special team outside for those exact instances. The, the commander, the guy in charge, put, a, put the, that team in, uh, in place and got him out right away. And that firefighter was not injured. The bitter cold, again, a huge problem for firefighters, but they are trained to deal with it. So the fire chief was telling us that as the men would get exhausted, they would take a break and rotate. He does say that the inside of the home has some serious damage. However, the roof and the exterior walls are still intact. So there is a possibility that the family could rehab the home and live in it once again. Live tonight in St. Bernard, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Can't me back to you. Angela, is there a lot of ice in that area from where they put water on the fire or were they able to put the water on the fire? How'd that work? Well, that's exactly what the fire chief was talking to us about when he said when you have this bitter cold and they're dousing this the flames in this fire with water, you have to look out for those slick spots. So what they're doing right now is throwing down uh, some chemicals to make sure that uh, that melts and make sure also that people who are in this area do not slip on that ice. Yeah, good idea. All right, Angela Ingram, thank you.